Hey, Akos, how's it going? Hello, everybody. I started this stream a couple of minutes earlier because Fraga has started the qualifying session, so I thought I'd start it now. <clears throat> Here we are, our First Nations Cup race. We didn't do the last one, obviously, because it was go-karts, and a lot of people didn't do it, but more people are doing this one. And uh, I haven't had anywhere near as much practice as I would have liked. Yeah. Um, I practice some qualifying laps, but my racing laps, I promise you, today, I just want to enjoy the racing. I'm not really expecting to get any solid results because I haven't had enough practice. Um, because you have to, you have to basically keep the battery charged. So when you arrive at heavy braking zones, you basically hold the brake that much and then brake later. And that means that you keep the thing charged. And I tell you what, it's really hard to get used to because you have to choose a starting braking point and then a second braking point. And I haven't really figured them out yet. So I won't be that hot today. That's okay. What's going on? All right. Yeah, you guys are my teammates now. What the fuck? What have I done? What have I done? Jesus Christ, I make the best decisions, don't I? <clears throat> Thank you very much. Um, it is a pleasure to have been offered a chance to join. And um, I was delighted to accept. So I take a bow. Thank you, BQS. Thank you very much. I can't really bow properly here, but I gave it my best shot. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, it started, mate. You missed the bait. <laughs> I know, Peppy. We're going to have a great time. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fabulous time. Can't wait. Right, let's do this thing. Let me try and do a good lap. My best so far is a 54-7, which is not that competitive. got my wheel on the white stuff I'm gonna do another lap I've got time to be able to do another out lap why did I leave well that is a really really good question and it's not simple and to be honest with you I'm still thinking carefully about what my official statement will be because I can't just be like Oh, that's no nothing. Nothing to see here. That's it, because that's not true. But I'm also going to be. I will try my best to be as diplomatic, fair, truthful, and reasonable as possible. So basically, I'm still thinking about how I want to explain why this came to be. You know, it's on live. It's going to be there for people to come back to and listen to if they want. So I want to choose my words carefully. I'm still thinking about it. And I don't want to think about it mid lap. So, yeah, I, I, I will say during this stream, I will give a sort of main statement. And that will be done. That will be that. So there's Fraga with a 54-3. Strong but I know his optimum is probably closer to a 54 dead. But putting it together, woo, hard, real hard. I can ask Susie. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think maybe he's had a bit more practice. At, at this than I have. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Right, I'm just going to smash this lap out. And then... Uh... 
Yeah. Interesting that Coyote's got mediums on. Oh, you put hard on, that's it. Because, yeah, okay. Pretty nice to set to one. Pretty happy with that. What's going on, David? Thanks for joining. Much appreciated. Right, here we go, hard braking. Nice through there. Somehow I got away with that. Really hard to not understeer there. I'll figure it out. But yeah, this is actually, so far, my best lap. If I can get 54.5, to be honest, I'll be happy. Because it's not my favourite, you know, high downforce cars are not my strength. Because using a bit of aggression and being a bit rough with it is actually the way forward. So actually my best lap. Ah, and it's barely... Yeah, I think I lost a lot of time in Japuhan. And a couple of other places. Um, shout, uh, yeah, Iceman, to be honest, I wasn't expecting it either. So, it's not that, it's not as simple as you might think. It does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the VQS uh, livery. It actually shaves off the green stuff. It just, just, just a bit of a magic to it. Anyway, there's my lap. That's about where I'm at at the moment. I know I can do faster. I know I can do a five, but I don't think I can do much better than that. Uh, I didn't change my tyres, but I couldn't anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna. I I'll show you how hard I find it keeping the battery charged, but also being consistent. Yeah, point five is hard, Anthony. Really hard. Uh, because I'm starting on softs, I'll probably leapfrog a couple of these guys straight away. So, yeah. Here we go. So, pretty decent start overall. But yeah, I gotta charge those brakes. Uh, Slent is coming up fast. Can't really be asked to fight him, to be honest. So, braking too early there. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit of work to get used to. I've more or less got it, but I'm not fast. You know, I, I probably lose two, three tenths a lap on average to most people. Maybe more to some of the really good guys. Let's 
So yeah, still too early on the brakes there. So I lost two tenths to Fraga just through the bus stop. Still too early there. Lost uh, another two tenths in one corner, see what I mean? It's really difficult. What's going on GT Grandad, Consta, you, <clears throat> how much longer can I piss around with this, yeah I'll go for a bit longer, uh, yeah, I haven't practiced. actually gained time on Fraga in that corner. Oh wait, no I didn't. <laughs> no I didn't, never mind. Yeah, I'm really slow compared to Fraga. Really slow. I've maybe done five racing laps in total today and I haven't done any racing laps until today. Fifty-five seven. What? How the fuck am I supposed to do that? I was happy with the 57 dead earlier. What? <laughs> I can't keep feet with that. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm actually going faster than Sled, but I think that's because Sled isn't charging his batteries. I don't think he's got that memo. I also have no idea what uh, brake balance to use, so I'm just using zero at the moment, but there could certainly be a better way to do it. Oh, Fraga plebbed it. Woo, must be the pressure, the immense pressure that I'm applying to him. Clearly. I mean, there's nobody else here. Yo Francis. Oh does it now? Oh okay. Well this is gonna help a lot. And that might explain the uh I mean that's a big gap. I know I'm not OP here, but come on. Four tenths. Bit better. Yeah, I'm still a second slower, you know? Okay, I'll try it. Also helps turn the car in a little bit, but it can be a bit sketchy if you get it wrong.
still a bit messy there, isn't it? Bollocks. I'm also still getting used to my brake pedal. So, ah, half a second. Boom town! Um, let's just say I applied 50% of pressure on my old brake setup. That would be 100% braking. So I'm still getting used to that. So putting 10% on feels completely different to what it used to. Whee! That's what happens when you've got a rear brake by if you fucking slide. So I've got to get used to that. Lost a bit of time there. Whee! Yeah, I need to get used to that. <coughs> I need to keep braking in a straighter line for longer, which, again, kind of helps you charge the batteries. <laughs> yeah. Polly McRae style, right? I tell you what, rear brake bias is really good for this corner. It turns in really well. But uh, the really heavy braking zones, it's a lot harder. Yeah, I've lost the charge. Because I'm a dingus. Yeah, light braking, yeah. It, yeah, I, I noticed that one, yeah, it doesn't really work, does it? There we go, that's better. You need to be coming out of the final corner with more or less full charge. you're going to have a problem. Yeah. So what's my uh, 56288? Okay, so I've more or less got down to not a thousand miles away from Fraga. If I can get within half a second a lap, then I'll be a little bit happier, but it's still, I mean, half a second is like, 50 million miles, really. <laughs> so, uh, needs to be better. <clears throat> oh, really? I think it's a hard one to balance, and to be honest, I'll probably get faster with it with each race because I'll be able to look at replays, see what people are doing, understand it a bit more because I haven't practiced. So, yeah, and there's a reason, there's a good reason why I haven't practiced, and it ties into the fact that, yeah. I am now with VQS, yeah, if you haven't already noticed, which is awesome, frankly. I'm really happy about that um, because VQS is a team that I respect, I like. It's got a bunch of really cool drivers who are also really fast. Uh, I like their brand and their reputation, so awesome. Um, and I appreciate them giving me the chance. But the way in which the circumstances came about, not so good and that's that's the that's the thing that's the thing and i'm still kind of think about what again like i said what official statement i want to make on that <sighs> yeah what do i want to say hmm it was uh unexpected to say the least completely unexpected uh, well, it's how it came about, Jack. Wasn't necessarily, um, you know, what we wanted. Uh, 
<clears throat> yeah. Here, here goes. This is this is this is my official statement. Okay. So my time with E Monaco has been great. I've loved it. I've really enjoyed it. I've liked. I I've, I I couldn't complain about it at all. I I couldn't. It's been great. However, on what are we today? Saturday, Friday. I think Thursday night. I had a long day, I, I sat down to uh, chill out, and I, I got a message, and it basically said, I'm just going to condense it into its simplest essence, I'm not going to be like, he said, he said, I, I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to condense it down to its simplest essence, just the facts, but it's, sorry James, we're letting you go, because of a few issues that have been building up over time. I don't know how much time, but building up over time. And uh, that's it. It's It's been decided you're, you're off the team. And I, I had to sort of read it, uh, put it down, and then go, what? And I was just completely... Yeah, I was just completely gobsmacked. I just couldn't understand what the hell is going on. And so I dug deeper. I said, why? What's happened? What's going on? Is there anything I can do? And it was a blend of... It was a blend of saying, well, it's about what people have been saying. I don't know who. Racing incidents. No, no real details there. Just racing incidents. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So when I said, well, give me an example, the overwhelming consensus, no matter who I asked, was, I sort of don't really know. And that's the truth. It was more or less, yes, there's some points here and there, but we, you know, we don't really know. So <laughs> I, I'm really struggling with that. I did struggle with it. I was sort of scratching my head thinking, what have I done? I, I couldn't I couldn't work it out. So so that was it. And um I simply wrote an official kind of thank you very much for everything in into the into the group chat, the team chat, thank you very much for everything. I have to sort of politely object to a couple of points, which I'll get to in a second. I wish you all the best. Adios. And the objections were... If there were issues brewing for some time, weeks, months, I have no idea. Again, I had no idea. Why did I not... Why was I never told? I was never told anything. I wasn't ever said, James, we need to just talk about an issue... So that we can resolve it and move on. I never had that. Nothing. Not an, even a hint. So there's been this thing brewing between I don't know who. Coming from I don't really know where. And then all of a sudden that's it. You're gone. So not to be given. If there are some issues. To not be given any opportunity. To be able to say well in my defence. Or well let's have a look at the footage. Because I have it all. It's live. Let's analyse that. <clears throat> I wasn't given a chance. Which I don't think is right. No matter what you do, I, I, don't, I don't think that's really fair. Um, and then when I dug deeper onto that point, I seem to... And again, I don't really know who this is coming from. But I seem to be told, to be honest... Whatever complaints there were, we we didn't we didn't go we didn't go and look at the racing footage to judge for ourselves. So in other words, they received a complaint, took it at face value, didn't ask me or check any footage, let it accumulate, and then just said, "Yeah, okay, bye." 
that's that is to the best of my knowledge and my understanding today what it seems to be and i have pressed very hard to a few people to try and understand as clearly as possible what the what actually happened what are the actual incidents in question and I, I i can't really seem to get anything clear it's not clear it's very foggy i don't know well this and that little things it's not clear at all everything i'm saying today there is no desire to say e monaco are bad uh, they you know they're terrible i'm not yeah you know, i'm not going to bad mouth them that's not what this is about i am just stating the facts these are the facts these this is what i know this is what i understand and that's how it came to be and um ultimately even though we then finally spoke about it and tried to resolve it I decided it was just best not to stay, just on principle. I just didn't want to. It's a shame I didn't want to leave e Monaco. I wanted to stay with e Monaco. I liked e Monaco, but unfortunately, that's it. That's pretty much the 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 gist of it. I don't want to go into too many specifics, or say that this is a. This is a way I, I want e Monaco to look bad. I don't. It's just that's that's it. That's what happened. That's my official statement. <clears throat> and we'll just more or less move on. And uh, I wish e Monaco all the best. I really do. And I hopefully make the most of the gracious opportunity handed to me by VQS. Thank you very much. You know, I, I really appreciate it. Uh... <laughs> Imagine missing the race. Thanks. So that's it. I think I've covered pretty much everything. I think I'm being as fair and as reasonable as possible. I hope so. But that's it. <clears throat> that's it. So yeah, first FIA race as a VQS driver. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, Consta. I am. So there we are. I'm just thinking now if there's anything I've missed. I don't think so. Uh. <clears throat> no, I, I think that's it. So, we move on. Everybody, wish you the best. Exactly, Peppy. It's uh, rock and roll. So, basically, my first mission as a VQS driver is to take out other VQS drivers starting today. i tell you who I'd really like to take out is um, uh, Peppy. That would be good. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Imagine my first day as a VQS driver, I take a VQS driver out. That's a really good way to start, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. We're not going to do that. <clears throat> so, fastest mofo at the moment is Paul. By, you know, 30 milliseconds, nothing. <sighs> I mean, Anthony, come on. How do I like it? I like it. I really like it. It's swish. Let's take another look at it. Green as fuck. Does anybody remember that Top Gear episode? Where Clarkson tested a Ford Fiesta? Was it a Ford Fiesta? Or it, anyway, it was green. And he was just, just checking off the questions. Is it good on a shopping run? Can it do a military beach invasion exercise? Is it green? Yes. That's it. At least it's very green. And I really like it. It looks awesome. Ah, oh, it looks awesome. 
Uh, yeah, it is. I, uh, well, that's a good question, actually. It's, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know, actually. What what would you say, Consta? Where would you say it's primarily based? Dutch? Putting into the e <laughs> Didn't Vettel accidentally pull into the... Um, the wrong pit box. Who was it? Uh, I can't remember. It wasn't even like his old team or anything. Like, uh, what was it? Lewis Hamilton did that, didn't he? With the Mercedes and he drove into the McLaren pit box in the Chinese Grand Prix, I think, 2013? Or four, no, 13. I think that was it. Yeah. And yeah, everyone was like, ah, pleb. <clears throat> yeah, that's it, McLaren. <laughs> I, I think Vettel's, I don't know what it is, like he's obviously an incredible driver, but it's almost like he's had this wobble for a while. It's, it's, it's almost like it's the same wobble that started ever since 2014. And then he started to get it back towards 2017-18 and then just wobbled away from there. I can't, I can't explain it. Uh, frame drops, really. Anyone else? Hope not. Mm, yeah, sometimes it's just a uh, local thing in a way. Not ideal, obviously. Uh, okay, all right. I haven't got the most amazing streaming setup in terms of the quality, the processing and everything, but, um, oh, this is top split. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's not a very busy one then. Okay. Maybe the, maybe there's specific races that the real aliens have got their eyes on and it isn't this one or race one. Definitely not race one. How many points do you reckon? This is going to be a hard race to get anywhere into the... I, you know, I'd be happy if I was top 10, to be honest. Who's done Chief Sage Manig... Um, that's Manig... Yeah, Managas. M. Gonzalez. Yeah. Coyote, I think you can win this. Like, you've got it in you, but it's not going to be easy. Because you've got some other fast plebs in the room. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. So they don't really have to bother unless they're bored. And when you've got Formula One qualif... Don't ruin Formula One qualifying for me, please. <laughs> Turn it for me. But yeah, maybe they're watching that. The last race was crazy. I really would like to have seen what would have happened if Hamilton didn't go off when he was lapping George Russell. No! Rima got disconnected. Ah. Uh, 409. Fairly stonks. Fairly stonks. Yeah. High downforce is Coyote's bag. Really good at it. Joe Trudy Grandad. Good of you to join. grip's slightly different. Do you know what people have been saying recently? The grip, the qualifying grip in the lobby is slightly different to the qualifying grip when you actually get into the FIA lobby. You have to brake just a tiny, tiny bit earlier. In, certainly in the heavy braking zone than you normally do. Guys, I appreciate it.
Yeah, you do, slightly earlier. I think my set to one and two is strong, but I think I lose it a lot at the bus stop chicane and just generally set to three. Ah, uh, wait a minute. No, this is three sectors, not four. Uh, so yeah, basically the first half of the lap is all right, but the second half I lose time. Cool, there we go. Yeah, it might be, might be, but a lot of people have been saying it. So maybe it is, maybe there is something. Don't know. Anyway, wish me luck. Let's see what we can do. If we can get in the top 10, I'll be quite happy because there's uh, at least 10, more than 10 drivers here that are probably faster than me today. It's what happens when you don't practice. Let's go. He bailed out. What do you mean? As in, didn't enter last second. Who's Terry Brown? I don't know what sort of DR he's got. I know it's not a stack lobby, but I've never seen Terry Brown before. I'm not going to use three brake buyers just because I'm not used to it. I haven't been doing qualifying laps with it. I don't want to pleb it. Sliding, you know? I've also noticed a lot of drivers are very aggressive on their downshift, you know, really quick, really aggressive, obviously it helps. I find it harder to feel what's going on with the car, because it's so much more planted, everything happens so much quicker. speed to really weave. Here we go. We major play moment from Sebase. He's got time to do another lap though. Not my best, it's okay. No! I just got launched off the curb. Ah, oh, no, that's really destroyed my lap. Ah, ah, and a penalty. Oh, dude.
it still might be worth doing a lap, even if it's bad. Bollocks. Bollocks! It was a half decent lap as well. It would have been in 54s, definitely. Fifty-four two from there. Marcus, fifty-four one. I can't do that. Coyote P three, what a legend. There's always somebody else that gets the worst lap. So it's worth trying. I think I just cut that corner a bit too much and it just lifted the car up and then I was a passenger. So how bad is it? 57.4 B13! Well, I don't know. I mean, there's more P14. No, there's more people coming through. 15. Uh, yeah, it gets worse. <laughs> it gets worse. Oh, well. Weird curb glitch. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, so, yeah, Coyote is in a really good position. That's awesome. Oh, man. Which tyre, dude? Um, to be honest, you're... It's a, it's a risk, but if you want to win it, then it might be worth doing hard. Because the chances you'll overtake Nick and Marcus. Uh, you know? I don't know, dude. That's a tough one. I didn't 50 50, soft or hard. Like, you could. I don't, I don't know. Because what you risk is getting undercut by P4, 5, 6, 7 if they do start hard. Especially four, because then he will have he will have that clear air, whereas you won't have clear air. It is a hard one. I uh, I'm fifty fifty, mate. I got to be honest. I'm fifty fifty. So we're not last. I mean, Quinton really plebbed it. I am with Vanquish. I am. You could get swarmed at the start. Yep. Yeah. yeah, tough one. Obviously, it's, I mean, I, I'll start on hard, but I'll be surrounded on other people starting on hard, so, I'm just going to gamble and start softs, because YOLO, because I will get a much better start than those around me, yeah, it, playing it safe isn't bad, because look at the points, I mean, cool. I've more or less worked out that getting 380 points consistently will get you in the top 10. It's weird seeing VQS, man. It's weird. Uh, awesome. So there we are. We're going to start softs and just be a bit of a rebel. I also think it's probably best not to fuel this. Good luck, Koichi. What's going on, Abathor? What's going on? Teammates now. 
beautiful stuff. Is, is it safe for fuel burn? I fuel burned at the manufacturer series. We all saw what happened there. I ran out of fuel. <coughs> The trouble is, everyone at the back will start on hard, which means that you will just be in dirty air, which is what you want to avoid. So I'm going to try shops to get ahead of a whole bunch of people. It's more exciting, you never know what can happen. <coughs> but yeah, I played my lap. If I'd have got a 54.7, where would I have been, 10? Yeah, man. Yeah, I would have probably been 10 or so. Yeah, 10, so... Oh well, never mind. Not the end of the world. I reckon it was going to be more like a 54.9 though, to be honest. It was a little bit scatty in some places before I got launched on the curb. <laughs> We can do better next race. So yeah, we are representing Vanquish from the back. <laughs> Great way to start. I'm doing you guys proud already. <laughs> I, I want to do better. Come on, Ev. Look at that. Green. Yes. We've got Quinton behind us as well. Interesting. Right, let's go. Time to pleb it. basically gained no positions. I had to lift. I got that second gear understeer. <laughs> that was a moment. What was Terry doing? What was Terry doing, honestly? <laughs> I'm in the worst position, I'm last with sauce. Couldn't be worse. Can you believe it? The thing is, Terry has to go to his right or break. He can't just force me off the track because he has an obstruction. He's making his problem my problem. That's not right. No excuse for that. Coyote's in first. What a legend. Epic. Nah, that was a bad move from Terry. Really bad.
Right, head down and just send it. But we are way, 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 way behind. To say we're on softs. But, having said that, we have the benefit of clear air. And you'll notice by looking at the map, not everybody has that benefit. So I might just claw back. Some of that time. I think some people aren't charging their cars properly either. Either because they don't know or they they've lost it. I don't know. Yeah, Coyote is in the lead, boys, which is fantastic. Because you can just keep them behind, do his race, bring it home. I will be so happy for him if he wins it. I really will. He deserves it. So I'm just going to use the clear air now to get used to the car, the braking points, the all of that jazz. What's the pit loss time? Does anybody know? Look at me with my shit together. Some people have gone a little bit longer on the hard tyres, interestingly. I don't know how to get into the 55 yet. Too early on the brakes. Better than too late, mind. Let's try and catch wheeling. Too 
too early on the break. Thirty-seven seconds. Okay. What the hell happened to Manuel Gonzalez then? That doesn't make sense that he's 18 seconds behind. Maybe you had a big wipeout or some shit, I don't know. <sighs> Fuck those. <coughs> we'll catch a wheelie now. Better. Yeah, use this as a practice race for the next race because my pace isn't really good enough to compete with the guys that I normally compete with. I mean, I'm losing quite a lot of time to the leaders. Maybe. Was he with the hybrid? Ah, uh, Toyota. I didn't actually notice. Oh yeah, he was, he was, I forgot. Yeah, good point. I really want Kyoji to win this. I really do. Yeah, what's going on, Ari? We are teammates. Woo! Miro's behind me. Oh yeah, he's probably storming through. He's probably lost a lot of time trying to get through. So you know, there is that. But he will be absolutely opening the taps now. Nobody ruin Formula 1 qualifying in the track, please. Don't talk about Formula 1, I want to watch it later. some places I'm losing time to wheeling, don't know why. Coyote with the fastest lap, lad. For example, I just lost, lost quite a lot of time into the braking zone. going even faster. Yeah, I, I came afterwards, so uh, never mind. <laughs> hey, I'm faster than both those plebs in sector one. Woo! I'm really heaping under pressure, literally from 17 seconds back, they must be feeling the pressure that I am catching up. I mean, come on, how could you not?
two channels. Cool. Mirror's not going that fast, interestingly. I mean, he, I, he is gaining, but not at the speed that I was expecting. I'm rooting for Coyote big time. I would just, yeah, I would really like to see him win. He'll be over the moon with it, and he fucking deserves it. I really want to catch up with Wheeling. I don't know if anyone's doing a no-stop, good question. I don't think it'd work at all though. Now nah, the softs are, I mean look at the tyre wear for Christ's sake, there isn't any. So, no way. Still too early on the brakes there. Come on. I'm just not consistent. That is true, 37 seconds. I think he's absolutely in his element. One of those races where your brain just works. Hey bug! Oh!
Oh, I hate penalties. I really do. I really feel like they're fair. Half a second. Okay. We're finding some magic. That's a lot better. Paul with a 55 down. Got into the 55s. One more lap on the shafts, and we find out where we really are. Ooh, slidey. My OP is a 55.4, so if I'm consistent, I'm getting closer in terms of absolute pace, so that's good. It's just consistency. Oh, 
Right, let's see if it's not too bad. I hope so. Really long pit stop. Right, let's see where we are. Hopefully it's okay. I don't know. We had clear air though, so. Ah, uh, 14. 13, this is okay. It's not so bad. Uh, it's, it's okay. But yeah, it looks like Cody's going to win it. Come on, boy. Come on. I think I'm sort of doing what I do with fuel, just saving too much with the brakes. I think I can go a little bit faster and still recharge the battery. Points are 400 and something. Go on, Kaiji, bring it home. He wins. Ha <laughs> ha. Get in there, boy. Get in there. I'm really be happy with 13 to say how bad I was. It's not bad. Kaiji wins it. What a legend. What an absolute legend, good for him. My start went really bad. I just had to lift and then I just got barged out of the way by everyone. So, net, net gain, nothing. And then, destroyed by Terry. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking. I, I think he left, I, I, I think, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely Coyote's best ever race today. So he will be absolutely over the moon and good for him. Fucking good for him. I'm really happy for him. There's certain people I'd love to see win top split and Coyote's one of them. So he can pat himself on the back, pop a couple of uh, double backflips and uh, enjoy his weekend. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I dedicate my first <laughs> VQS race to Coyote's win. <laughs> it's the best I can do, really. Best I can do. Look at the state of my car. Jesus. It's, a, it's, a, it's an alright start. And part of the reason I didn't practice was because at one point I was like, you know, with everything that happened, I was just like, dude, I'm just, you know. So it really put me off. Ah, oh, replay. Actually, save it this time. Definitely. I bet he's just sat there, like. I don't know. I don't know. The TSO fifty finished in fifty-five thousandth place. So it didn't really work out too well. I don't know what strategy he would we'll look at it. Um, it didn't go so well for some other drivers as well. So, P13, considering is, uh, it's alright. It's alright. Yeah. Right, look at that, 409. You know, you, you get points like that, you can qualify. <laughs> you know? 
It's great. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's have a look at the replay. And then I think I can do a lot better the next race. I'm much more comfortable now. Because I've been able to do the laps. I'm still not consistent, but it's a lot better. Hey, Andre. Yeah, I trained to VQS today. Brand new. Exciting times. We're going to look forward. Yeah, it's really cool. Really cool. Whew. I sort of enjoyed that race overall, if it didn't go that well. If you spend hours practicing and then that happens, it's, it's, it's very annoying. <laughs> it's very annoying. Right, then, let's have a look at who did what. Quite hard to tell. I'll be right back because of all of this. Yeah, epic Coyote, we were all really rooting for you and we're really happy you brought it home. What a legend. We'll, we'll analyse Coyote's win, best ever win. It's got to be, hasn't it? Uh, I first just quickly want to check out what the fuck happened. So, all right, let's pause it a second. So, Quinton hard, 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 hard. Everybody's really hard at the moment. And wheeling soft. Yeah, that makes sense. Key hard. Savasic is soft. Uh, card race is very soft. Francis is extremely hard. Miro is also hard. Soft. Hard. Soft. 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 So basically got a six start. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is interesting when you're hard, isn't it? Right. Um, start. So what happened? <laughs> Basically, got a launch, and then I did that understeer thing. You know, with second gear, you know how it understeers because of the, the, the hybrid surge. So I had to lift off, lost my momentum, and then I got sandwiched, really. I, I couldn't really. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, fair. I, yeah, nothing I could do, really. I was just stuck. But, uh,. What this this was a bit right. You can't squeeze through that gap, man. You you can't do that. You can't be like, oh, Francis was in the way. That's your problem. You either put the brakes on or you go to the right. And instead, he just made a complete mess of it. Yeah. Oh well. So there's me, stone dead last. To come 13th in the end is, um, yeah, it's alright, isn't it? But I think, I don't know. So, what's, manual's on hard, okay. Javisic got stuck behind Karch the whole race. Paul got past Nick. Pretty much straight away. He got past Nick and Marcus. He was that good, but he couldn't get past Koji, which is amazing. Uh, let's 
yeah, nothing else really happened for me. It just drove a race. So let's have a look at Kyoji Star. Let's be honest. We all want to have a look, don't we? There he is. See what happened. How the fuck did he get in front? Maximum. Half, 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 half. Apparently that helps. Interesting. Interesting. How do you know that? Right. Nice. So I think it just gets the toe, really. I bet you had, you were just like, oh my god. This is a really amazing setup. Look at that. Marcus just couldn't. Sent it. What a G. Nailed the apex. What a G. Get in there, man. That was awesome. So, yeah, just perfect start, really. I just want to have a look at next start in comparison. What does he do? Uh, he uses the brake. Half, or a bit more than half. Slams it on. Uh, Marcus. Well, he's got hards on, actually, so fuck it. Slams it on. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It really depends, but you just got this epic launch. So choosing the soft tyre was... Yeah, really, really, really good choice. In, in hindsight, of course. And then after that, really, I mean... How long did it take Paul to get past... Started driving away, dude. You're literally driving away. Marcus is fast. That's a big flex. So poles in front. Why though? How did it get in front? Just close enough, really. And uh, yeah, look, look, look. Marcus isn't managing his battery. That's why. Yeah. Neither is Nick. Nick's lost his battery as well. So maybe it's just management. Well, it was. It was management. So I need to watch. Uh, uh, right, let's look. I want to see the way you manage it. Because all I've seen is people doing chase cam. And it, it it's hard to know what the exact break point is. So this should help me for the next race. Uh, okay. Right. So normally... I will start charging here. He's not. Wow. Okay. Wow, a lot later than me. Right. I see. This is interesting. Very different to the way I was doing it. Okay. I sort of get it a bit more now. Yeah. It's almost like you... Instead of going hold, then break, it's almost like you just roll on sooner. Which is probably a lot easier to be consistent with. And still get your charge. Very, very good. Really good.
Yeah, very different to what I'm doing, but way more effective. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Do you know what I think is amazing is how people can work out that in their own head without any reference. I'm not very good at that. If I see it done, I can then practice and replicate it really well, but to sort of discover it off my own mind, I'm not actually that good at that. Yeah, he's on the brake before he even comes off the throttle, definitely. But if you watch the way I'm doing it, so let's take this corner, for example. Let's just break it down. So Kaiji starts braking pretty much way past the 150 board, just before the 100. Still on the throttle. Doesn't actually get, he's still braking, braking, braking. Still throttling it. There. So not until way, way later. Way in between the 100 and the 50. Whereas if you actually watch the way I do it. There we go, I'm starting next to the 150, pretty much. Holding it for longer. Basically, simple, simple fact is this, Coyote's braking later but still charging his batteries. That's it. Simple as that. Yeah. Um. He's also not doing it, he's also not doing it as much as I'm doing it for this one. I'm starting next to that 100 meter board. Just, just doing it better than me. How to explain? It's really good though. Let's have a look at the faster laps. No, this is on purpose, Darren. Because what it means, if you look at Coyote, right, look, can you see that green bar? Uh, where the fuel gauge is? and pole is charged whereas at the same point more or less theirs is a lot lower in other words they're not charging their battery as much so what ends up happening is by the time they're on the straight look it's empty whereas pole has still got some charge and that makes a big difference coyote has still got some charge it makes a huge difference over over a whole race so that's it, it's to charge that battery it's all it's for and they these guys did a much better job than anyone while still going fast uh yeah Javis it just could not get close enough to play racer and look they're actually catching up with marcus because they have more charge look Simple as that. Oof, Javisic does get through. What sort of laps is he ripping? 55 threes, yeah. Once Javisic gets in clear air, he's ruthlessly consistent and fast. And ultimately, because Javisic has done 50,000 laps in Group 1 of Spa, partly because of Daily Race C. So he's more consistent. Oh, um, no, no. Wouldn't drive a non-hybrid car the same way. No, it's just because of the hybrid. That's all it is. Uh, will I share the replay? Yes, no problem. I just saw that. Uh, but no, normally you shouldn't overlap. You know, throttle, brake. You know, you, you should keep off in real life. But remember, this is not real life, so there's some silly shit you can do. 
that helps. But yeah, amazing job by Coyote. Totally deserved win. It's awesome. Um, Mira was pretty diabolical. Don't know why. Started P4. So how did he pleb it? Probably just not managing the battery. So penalty, no, no penalty. So what happened? He's on hards, okay. Wait, why is he on hards again? He basically fucked up the pits, didn't he? Look. Oh, for fuck's sake. He, st he started hard tyres. And then pit stop. What's he done? <clears throat> I think he's accidentally put hard tyres on again. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's put the wrong tyres on. So he's ruined his race. Yeah. No wonder Miro is driving away from him. Catching up with Terry Brown. What kind of laps is Terry Brown doing? Whoa, wait a minute. Uh, wow, those are really slow laps. I don't know what Terry Brown's doing in this lobby, to be honest. I think it's just quiet today. Can somebody check his um, driver rating? Out of interest, just check it. I just want to know what it is. Uh, soft tyres, let's see what he does. Uh, oh, okay, he's gone. Oh well, never mind. Yeah. Uh, share the replay uh, for Paul. Um, there we go. Paul Ebb. There we go. Cool. Just do that. Uh, Check what's up. Okay. I don't think that's dirty. I think that was fair game. It was a good move and you held the line. No, I, I think that was a good move, Mira. So, yeah. Yeah, what happened with your race, Francis? We didn't see, but yeah, what what, what kind of happened? Did you basically get stuck behind people? What's the time? 15 minutes, cool. I just get some more water in a second. So I'll do that while that's happening. All right. 
Got a penalty. Oh, yeah, that's right, you did. Yeah, I forgot about that. Because did you see what happened? The way that Terry watches his chops. <laughs> like, scroll back on the stream and you'll see it. Don't need this. Yeah, this is uh, how many years since Ayrton Senna was killed at Imola um, today? <sighs> 94, so... Wow. 26 years? Am I right? No, 27 years. Damn. Am I doing my numbers right? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> That's crazy. Dark day. And then, of course, the day before that, Roland Ratzenberger. Holy moly. <clears throat> I remember when I was at Goodwood Festival of Speed. I can't remember what year, maybe 2017. And I saw Alain Prost in the flesh. He was just stood next to one of the classic cars talking to, uh, I don't know who. But it was so weird to see him standing there in the flesh after so many documentaries and footage I've watched of Ayrton Senna and Alain Prost, their battles and so on. And then to see him stood there, it was just like, it was surreal. It was totally surreal. Nice one. Um, you, which one do I want to join? Depends. Uh, a bit more stacked. Cheers, Mary. Myronase. That's got a good ring to it. Myronase. Oh. oh. Right, qualifying practice, let's go. I need better laps. Now. Uh, I also need to get used to three because I wasn't using that. The other thing is, I don't think you need a brake balance to rear for qualifying because you don't really run out of charge in qualifying. Not really. Look at that, he just drove straight into his way. Right. Here we go. Try and get into the low with the cause, please. That's right. That is right, Fres.
Nah. Fifty four eight again. And now we've got some plebby bits, so let's unpleb those plebby bits, see what we can do. Yeah, might try that. I mean why wouldn't you want to watch that? <laughs> why why not? I'm having to really concentrate to make up for that lack of practice. again Not really any faster.
Fifty-four-seven. It just seemed to be my max, really. One more go. Oh, what's the time? Uh, we got enough time for that? Ooh. <sighs> nah, nah, we won't. We'll we'll get involved and join the lobby. Cheers, town. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. It's really cool to join you guys. Um, so yeah, when we race wheel to wheel next time, we can cause like a uh, Rosberg Hamilton sort of Barcelona fuck up. We, you know, take each other out and then it's just going to be so much better, isn't it? A bit like Brands out. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it's cool. It's really cool. In all seriousness, it is. Yeah, thanks, man. Oh, how come you're not doing it? Like, not your race, work. I'm sure there's a reason. Nobody ruined qualifying. Don't write qualifying results in the trap, please. <laughs> Found a baby. What are you talking about, my Renee's? What did my DR do? Because, uh, you know, we're trying to build the damn thing. You know, I want to get into 84, 85. Otherwise, I'm going to keep getting squished out. Yeah, 81,400. It's not great. I need to improve it. I'd like to do something about that today. Yeah, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, oh, did you do nice one, mate. 300, yeah. It's really good to get into the 300 club. Good job. Oh really? What did you get? I go. Fucking a. It is weird. It's having the VQS name. I just never expected it in a million years. It's really cool. Really, really cool. One minute to go. We'll still be in top split comfortably, but uh, points, drivers, don't know. Not sure what to expect. But there's a whole, a whole bunch of drivers that I was expecting to see in this race that weren't in the race. So, and we actually, uh, we had a driver that was um, not very fast. And uh, you remember how Hamilton wiped himself out at the end of Kemmel Strait because he started coming across the front of a Sauber. Kamui Kobayashi could have been him. And he just went off, took out, you know, big crash. I think it was 2012. Uh, that happened. Yeah, man. I'm Vicky S. 339. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Why I switched 
you'll have to scroll back on this stream to um, around about when the time was quarter to three on the screen, the top right hand corner. Go to 1447, that's when I start talking about it. That's my official statement. That's it. Because I know everyone's going to ask. And I'm not going to be like, oh, nothing happened and act like, you know, it's just I'm not going to do that. Right. This looks like a slightly stronger room, actually. Yep. I reckon there's more points in this lobby. 4.11, 4 4.15. What do I go with? I'm going to say 4.15. Let's go with that. Obviously, I'm the fastest VQS driver because I'm the only VQS driver in top split. I'm kidding. But that's it, why aren't, I'm, 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 maybe the VQ, the other VQS teammates who are doing it are on later, I guess, I don't know, for whatever reason, work, etc. Yeah, that's right, yeah, it's bar, uh, six hours of spa at the moment. Um, again, just go back to 14.47 on the time on screen, top right hand corner, and that's when I explain it. Uh, 424. Stunks. Resist. I've completely destroyed my car. Great way to warm the car up before the race. I'm trying to see if when I basically do stuff like this in the warm up whether I get better results and when I don't I get worse results. But to be honest I always pleb slot one. They do? 15 minutes rollback, really? Uh, I I guess, yeah, watch it later then, once I finish streaming. I, I, I don't know. I don't have any setting like that. Yeah. Don't know. I don't know, man. I didn't realise, so, yeah. Right, uh, wish me luck for a better qualifying session this time. Please. But if I can get a 0 0.7... Yeah, I'll be happy. Here we go. Oh, nah, don't bother. If it's not scrolling back, then people can just wait until later. It's not a big deal. Because it's better that, you know, instead of loads and loads of different people telling it in their own way, people can just look at a video where I say it once and that's it. That's it. 
So if there's any debate, oh, he said this or he said that, it's like, well, watch the video. And you'll, you'll see what I said. So, yeah, that's it. I think one's a bit close. Well, he's right now, but yeah. Anyway. No, I won't do it in that, but I'm not going to do that. that corner finally <laughs> he's actually a decent lap It feels like my fastest lap yet. Just need to get the bus stop chicane right. Bugger! I, at least, I dropped at least two seconds, uh, two tenths in the bus stop chicane because I had that glitch just before the braking zone and then of course wheel spin on the exit. Ah oh, man! I might have pulled it if I didn't get that wheel spin dude. Nah, I wouldn't have got a 54.3. Ah, oh, dude. Good luck though. Yeah, two seconds, not ha <laughs> yeah, talking talking bollocks there. I don't want to get in the way of anyone. Uh P seven Man, I swear to god I could have got a bit further up. Yeah. Uh where would it? I I I am sure I could have been top four. I I guarantee you I would have got ahead of Maxim because I I lost more than a tenth, breaking too early because of that weird jitter. You know when someone leaves the room and it jitters? It was like that. Yeah, I, I, I missed out on P4. Definitely. Bollocks. Um, I want to get us into what tyres people are putting on. Oh, uh, la 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 la. Well, I won't. I, I, mm, yeah, I don't know. It's a better qualifying though, so that's good. What strategy? I'm not really sure what strategy to be honest. It depends on whether some of the other drivers coming around now push me further down. Miro couldn't. Uh, yeah, thanks, Ryan. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. It is very interesting. Uh, pushed down by Quinton and Nick, unsurprisingly. So P9. Hmm. Killian, yeah. I, I dropped at least two tenths into the bus stop chicane, I'm sure of it. Yeah. We're getting faster as the day goes on. <sighs> what do you reckon, guys? Hard or soft? Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, but I could have been P6. Seven. Um, yeah, I, 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 P7. Missed out on that. But that's cool. In terms of tyres. Ooh. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think hearts for this one. Here we go. He must have pledged it. Yeah, much appreciated. Much appreciated. We could win slot three onwards. Like, but everything would have to go right. Okay. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, Coyote should just sit back and be like... <laughs> yeah, sweet. No, I pled P7. I think the outside is... As long as someone doesn't mess up the inside, but I think the outside is slightly better. Jump times, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. Let's try and get a good launch and have a little bit of luck for the start. But we could have easily been quite a lot further back. I mean, look, not much. Not much if you start getting into the bottom five. Yeah. And even then, you, you got the top split win as well, which is epic. Best points, as far as I'm aware. Right, we are about to go racing. Card plebbed it. What I call him pleb racer. Key had some bad luck, and um, yeah, that's it. Right, let's go. I reckon the rear tyres will be slidey as hell, cold and hard. So let's be careful.
someone who doesn't know when to hit the brakes. No. Oh, God! What is wrong with people? so disrespectful it's like free for all like fuck everyone for the first lap honestly Honestly. Take such insane risk. It's just stupid. Nah, no, not using the hard. Honestly. We don't know. None of us really knows what happened because we can't see. I, like, I, yeah, I said card. But what if card got here? I don't know yet. So it's best to reserve judgment. But I got ruined. Ruined at turn one. And then ruined at the end of the Camel Straight. Honestly. Ah. Uh. It just ruined the whole race. You know, when you're this far back. Shit. I'm trying to replicate uh, Coyote's braking. And uh, they're obviously not there. Excuse me, worst time to snooze. 
lost my charge. I don't think it's about good starts, I just think it's about people doing really stupid shit and taking stupid risks. You know, sending it on cold tyres that they don't know how to judge. Just douchebag.
him. taken out so badly. <laughs> it's so annoying. Nah, I'm gonna breaking wrong, come on. I'm getting a braking wrong.
relax. I'm really struggling to manage the brakes more than the last race.
seems like the dirty air isn't it, as bad as it used to be. Like it's still there, but I swear it used to be worse. Nice little wheel to wheel at the end, but a pretty shit annoying race to be honest. Just, just people being twats, like I can't think of a better word. People being twats, doing really stupid, idiotic, crazy moves that you just wouldn't do, you would never do in real life. Because if you did the same in real life, it would be like Spa 2012. Carnage and race bans because it's just stupid. Because it's a game, people don't care. That is really annoying. Really, 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 really annoying. So we'll have to break it down. Because I don't know who did what. But somebody did what. It was, it was a boring ass race. I mean, I was just on my own at the back. We'll have a look and see who done what. Because somebody, numerous people, did something stupid. Definitely. Right, let's have a look. You think you outbreak yourself a little bit. <laughs> People say stuff like that as a sort of setup to what it's really like. So, nice little under exaggeration there. I reckon you did more than a little bit by the sound of it. Well, you should see what happened to me, back to You think you got it bad. If there's a word beyond yeeted, then it's that. Yeeted doesn't quite cut it. Just, <laughs> it's just diabolically bad and difficult to understand. You know, like, I know that grid starts are tough, but come on. It's not a ticket to take insane risk. I don't even know where to start. Uh, start here and just... Okay, right, let's have a look. This is the first thing I noticed. <sighs> oh, 
I'm inclined to think that Francis was paying attention to such bad positioning this uh, skip. So watch. Man Managas basically gets a false start. Francis is just watching him thinking which way to go. And then before he realises it, Matthew's there. I honestly don't think Francis realised until it was too late. I reckon he was busy watching, you know, which way, left or right. So, that got pretty bad. Stelios got a good launch. Francis, yeah. <laughs> so Francis buggered it up, but then did he get punched from behind? I don't know. Have a look. No. Not really. So Francis missed his break point because there's, there's so much going on. And, uh, what's Machu doing? Bollocks. So once that's happened, there's so much to work out. So he's taking it easy, goes up the inside, I don't think he really realises how many people are on his outside. So... <laughs> it's mainly Francis's fault. Really. Just, just missed his break point, but that's, that's it. It's just missed his break point. There's a lot going on. Do I understand that? I understand how that would take place. But what happened here really fucking pissed me off. That really pissed me off. Sorry, Kaj. But it really annoyed me. I mean, look, come on, man. Like, you're, you're steaming up behind five wide. You gotta back off. You, you have to just back off. You can't take risks and try to get as many positions as possible. You, you look at five wides, you took a risk. A really, really bad risk. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Like, it's not as if I haven't made really stupid mistakes, but... it's That's the kind of unnecessary risk I'm kind of referencing. It, it should be screaming at you to just accept I'm in P17 I'm just going to lift off a bit early and follow it through it, yeah that's the kind of stuff that gets me annoyed so I'll be, I'll be honest it's not personal I'm not annoyed at you like oh no I like you card but I, I will say that is annoying I think for anyone because me and Francis Got, yeah, ruined. Really ruined. It's just risk. It's just taking unnecessary risk and not accepting when to back off. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, I don't... Mm, yeah, so the, a good example is actually what Matthew did. So, I think it was too late for Matthew to be out, but watch. He breaks really nice and early, doesn't take any risk, and just feeds it through. He could see there's just way too much fucking going on. Because, um... But that's the thing, you were carrying way too much speed, even though Francis suddenly unghosted. So, you, the point at which you should have registered was was before that. You know, we all learn, we can learn, but yeah, that that's it, that's how we learn. Um, but, the other thing you got to think about as well, is... When this happens, Stelios is thinking about him, who's thinking about him, who knows Francis is there, who doesn't want to go into the back of him. He's thinking about when he breaks, but also the fact that he's coming. You, you, you can't send yourself into a situation like that because you won't be seen. You just won't be seen. And people won't be able to react to you. It, you know? I don't think outside is bad, it just depends on what people do. Because look at what happened to Gonzalez.
kind of came out all right. Where did he start? Well, not that all right, but I think it really depends. So Joseph, for example, look. Stuffed it up the inside. Should he have stuffed it up there? There's could and shoulds, you know. You could, but should you? Yeah, that's understandable. I would have gone for that. Because by the time you realise it, look, he's coming on and he's there, it's too late. That's me. I can accept when you find yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time. I accept that. But what I get annoyed about is when people try to break as late as possible in a situation that's three, four cars wide. It is idiotic and 99 times out of 100, it, it does not work. You or somebody else gets destroyed. And it's not fair. It's, it's just it's not fair. It's really annoying. Yeah. That's my rant. And then from there, nothing. I mean, I'm just driving a lonely race like a dingus. An absolute dingus. I am going to analyse you, Kaj. Nah. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm pulling your leg. So Key's laughing because look at where he started. Look, he's fucking 19th. He gained 10 places because people don't know when to back off. So look, he backed off there. Miro. Perfect example. Key's doing exactly the right thing. Look, he got a great launch. Let's watch that. Great launch. Boom, right through the middle. But then he sees Miro, and despite the fact that he wants to make good on his launch, can you see he's back, he's breaking really early. He's not taking stupid friggin' risks. Cool beans! Cool beans! That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. And then come this point, <laughs> I mean... Great. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, great. I mean, he's, he's laughing his face off to get to P11 in two corners. Good for him. What? 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 Look at that. Look at that. What a setup. Good for him. And then, of course, he picks up Stelios's penalty. So P8. <laughs> what? What? What do you need qualifying for when you got plebs taking stupid risks? Ah, uh, lap nine, Maxim. Sadly, my old teammate. Cry. That is an absolute failure of the system. <laughs> you know, really, really, really bad. Uh, what was Joe Set's lap? Best lap, 55.2. And then I, my best lap, I really, really had, I, my pace was really bad. Ultimately, because of this situation, It, it really, you know, I had to use a whole load of uh, charge there. I mean, even here, I see that ghost, I see Maltese there, and I just think, look, back off. Just just feed your way through. Oh, man. That is the worst thing that can happen on lap one. It's so, so, so annoying. Honestly. Everyone watching, like, just stop taking stupid risks. In, in situations like that, three wide, back off. It never, ever works out in the right way. <laughs> ah. 
it's frustrating because it makes you feel like, you know, a big waste of time. And a lot of DR lost, which is the last thing I want right now. Um, what is it? Probably bad. Yeah, another thousand DR gone. Honestly. Uh... Yeah, no, sorry, too late, too slow. Yeah, Nick just drove off into the sunset, really, sipping a pina colada. Good for him. Uh-huh. I've got another one in me, definitely. But I would really appreciate not being yeeted by people. Hmm. Yeah, probably. What else we got? Uh, go with this one. Did he? Well, cars you flying. Simple as that. It's one of those dream races where you just send it. I haven't had a really good race in quite a while. I'm going through this patch where I just, for one reason or another, don't perform well or I have bad luck or both. Pretty annoying, but it happens. I'm alright with it. I'm not alright with it, but I'm not unnecessarily sad about it. You know, where it becomes unproductive. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do one quick lap and then I would rather actually take a little bit of a break. Keep my head clear, you know? To be honest, I'd rather this race wasn't about trying to save the battery because it's just stupid. It's, it's just something you would never do in real life. But it, it is what it is.
to a new lap. Still a rubbish lap. Fresh tyres. Ah, uh, again. Um, yeah, I saw someone mention about shore shifting so that you can get more momentum. Can I do that? Crabster.
Oh, I messed it up. Ah, it's annoying me now. I think I'm doing too much. So I'm just going to relax for a bit. I more or less have qualifying down. I just have to string it together. But um, it's the race that I'm really struggling with. Because it's really, really difficult to manage the battery. As you're supposed to. It's a strange one. I'm not used to it. You know, when you're still experimenting with it, it's, uh, yeah, not great. Yeah, there we are. Let's watch uh, an alien do it. Interesting to watch Joe set not upshift early, and uh, he's the kind of person that would know how to do that. Doesn't use the curbs. Doesn't use the curbs. Interesting. Interesting. Matt hasn't done a decent lap. He's only uh, one and a half tenths down the road. So. <coughs> Eight minutes to go until the next race and hopefully we can actually have a better race because it's been pretty messy so far
Yeah. This is my last one today. First race as a VQS driver, <laughs> finishing really, really low on both races. I'm not surprised, but and some of it's like the last race was obviously really unlucky. We just got shafted by people breaking too late, basically. Simple as that. Without that, could have been, yeah, top 10. I'm sure of it. So we can do a bit of an ask me anything time to be honest. Yeah, God, yeah. And yeah, that was a frustrating day. That was a very frustrating day. You have frustrating races sometimes, but then Barcelona, a couple of weeks later, Nations Cup with the Lexus, massive redemption, 398 points. Great, great race. Really, really close. If I was better at management, I know why, in a sense, I lost to Alex. And it was tyre management. Basically, I was revving the car out on the exits of a lot of the corners of Barcelona. And that is bad on the tyres. I didn't know it at the time. But it meant I couldn't quite keep Alex behind. So, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, oh well. But hopefully we'll do better. Yeah, Z fix dreams. Huh? <laughs> well, excuse me. I could just use my alter camp. Cause that's around about seventy. Yeah, something like that. Nice thing about Prez, he kind of came out of nowhere and then uh, straight away into uh, Yassi. Pretty cool. I mean, how long did it take me? It took me. I joined E Monaco like September last year or something, and that was the first team, and I started this game December 2017. No. Well, January 2018, so it took you know, two and a half years before I was asked to be on a team. Yeah, fair enough. Kuduga. Kuduga. Yeah, at least I have a chance to get back on from this disconnection. Because that would be a bit annoying. I think I need to, yeah, I need to change my race suit. <laughs> I forgot, I'm still wearing the uh, E-Monaco helmet and race suit. Excuse me. It, to be honest, it varies. In a lot of cases, nothing. Other than a bit of camaraderie and lols. But in some cases, it's a doorway into more interesting uh, opportunities, essentially. Uh, but it's also, I think, some, a lot of the value of teams in the early stages is ultimately building a network um, amongst people. 
because you don't really know who you're racing. Like there might, for example, you might have Antomics, but who knows what he does in real life. And yeah, in some cases, free shit. I wouldn't, I'd put it more elegantly than that, but Aggie pretty much, yeah, says it right. Um, in some cases, paid. In some cases, it helps, like, one of the advantages for myself that I request, you know, people don't have to say yes to me, but I politely request and they politely accept. For example, I can put my website on the car so more people see it across the team. Stuff, stuff like that. All sorts of stuff. It really depends team to team, situation to situation. Um, I think it matters more if you want to use it to get into real racing. It does. And I think being on teams like R8G or Prima, for example, or Williams or TRL, are one of the strong gateways into real life. You have to you have to drive well, obviously. But yeah. Yeah, I might do that. I might do exactly that. Or Pokemon cards. Guess which one? <laughs> do you remember when Pokemon Go landed and everyone lost their shit? What was it, 2000? What year was it? Summer 2015, 16? I'm not sure. But it's amazing how obsessed people get. Like, they literally did the stupidest stuff just to capture this freaking Pokemon. And it was like, man, come on. <laughs> like, uh, what? How much time do you have? Hmm. Here we go. bus stop what <laughs> what obviously you're joking <laughs> last race of the day come on let's have a good one Still pretty stacked. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Probably right.
Yeah, the dirty air isn't as bad. Like, it's still there, but it's not to the point where you're like, how am I supposed to overtake? So much better. I'm pleased about that. So much better. Yeah, but before it was like seven tenths, eight tenths of a second faster. It was just insane. But yeah. Here we go again. <laughs> Thanks, man. Babe. Oh, like that. <laughs> Stop it. Billy Carl. Ooh. What a waste of time. What a stupid game. Bloody penalties are so stupid.
decent lap apart from uh, turn one. There's still more people driving though, so I I I don't know. Nah, get the fuck out of here. I haven't just put it on P5, have I? I I obviously pleb the exit of turn one and the bus stop chicane a little bit. Turned in, turned left too early. But if I'm P5, then okay, fine. I don't really, really, I don't believe it. I bet you I get YouTube off at turn one again. Again. I agree with Jack. Uh, you know what, boys, I think I might have. I could have been faster if I... Yeah, I could have been faster. I lost at least a tenth on uh, the exit of turn one, definitely. Definitely. P6 now. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how many people are still coming around, you know? Can't be more than three, obviously. There's three drivers running. But that's probably it. S1 was a 0.7. Is that good? Well, it's obviously bad, but how bad? How much time did I lose? As soon as I can, I, I just need to know where to save it from and then change it. P7, get in there, I'm alright with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to open up the door on the inside, I'm just going to hold it. Okay, um, in terms of tyres though, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Soft. Yeah, it makes sense to go soft because it's unlikely I will be held up by the people around me because I haven't really got my race pace sorted out. Let's be honest here. Uh, Joe set plebbed it. Cards plebbed it. Key didn't really hook it up. I'm sure he's faster than that. He's good with group one cards. Uh, Maxim. Yeah. I mean, it's really tight. Look. I mean, it's tight. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that, to be honest, considering I thought it was going to be worse. But I'm pretty sure I missed out on P5, possibly 4. Off. That's all I want, please. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. I just got to think about my um, braking as well. Like I'm still not really there with it. Let's see.
Looking good and green. Yeah. I'm praying nobody does something stupid, that's, that's all I ask, just someone not to do something stupid. Hopefully we can claw back some DR today as well, so yeah, uh, let's go! Let's go! Epic start. I think I could have stayed in front of Zavisic if it wasn't for Koke sliding around. Now I'll just focus on race pace. That is a bullshit penalty for Zavis here. That's savage. That's bullshit. He just tapped cocaine and got a one second penalty for it. That's really harsh.
worked. Come on. I'm just struggling with the battery, to be honest. I just can't manage it as effectively. Yeah. I'm finding it hard to manage the brakes, I really am. Bollocks! I've lost it! For fuck's sake! That's gonna cost me so much time to regain. really hard to manage the brakes. I just haven't had the practice with it. Not a lot I can say or do about that.
No, I am not managing the battery that well. I'm on it now. I'm where I should be now with the battery. But the last lap, if you run out of charge on the main straight after lap, uh, turn one, you it's fucker. It's absolute bastard. I had to sacrifice a load of time to get it back where it needed to be. Which is where it is. So now I can get back onto the pace. Really difficult. I hate this stupid battery bullshit. Stupid. Ah! Such an idiotic thing to have to do to win. I mean, there's times when I think, what an amazing simulator, and then there's other times I think, sim my dick. I am breaking hard, you pleb. <laughs> it's like when people are like, go faster. I'm like, oh, I didn't try that. <laughs> Why don't I? Oh, look, all of a sudden I'm winning. I'll take P5 there if I can. Definitely.
losing that battery charge was really costly. I had to throw away three seconds to get it back where it needed to be. My laps are so inconsistent as well. bit on the low side again. on the low side oh it's so close to running out I've got a tiny bit of green left I need to sacrifice some time here I can't get the brakes right. I can't get the brakes right. Was that a fair block or was I too late? What do you think? I'm not really sure. I'm not feeling too good on my overall race pace compared to ultimately everybody who started on hards. I mean, they would have caught up big time.
I'd be surprised if we finished five, uh, P5 because I'm sure in clear air other people would have had some pretty epic pace. Bollocks, come on! So P5 <sighs> Uh William KK didn't pit. Did he miss it or something? Ah <coughs> uh, I don't know. I'd be surprised if we stay ahead in P5, I'll be honest. Where are we are? 15. Yeah, look, we've lost loads of time. I knew it, I'm not surprised. My race pace it just isn't good enough. I just didn't have enough race pace, Carl, that's it. So everyone who started on hard drove faster over the race distance and did an undercut. Simple as that. I'm not really surprised, to be honest, because I just can't manage the battery. So Williams Coco finished the race. But, you know, is he going to have a one minute penalty? Nah, he's got soft tyres. There we go, nicely done. So that's it, wheel to wheel racing, no contact, no ballyhoo. Cool. P10, yeah, I honestly, I think it's the best I can do. I just don't, I can't do the whole battery charging thing. Not without doing shit loads of mileage to get used to it. I just, I just can't do it, I can't do it. Not within one day, because I basically started practicing this battery thing today. Uh, oh, right, uh, because he smashed into the back of me at the bus stop, I think he got a penalty. I just, he just hit the brakes too late, I think. <clears throat> I think I might have blocked him a little bit too late um, after Les Coombs, but I don't think so. I'll check it out. Yeah, Coco loses, so, yeah. Oh, well, try our best.
I don't know why he missed the penalty uh, pits. I don't know. But there we are. P10. Yeah. Not my favourite race, but it's made even harder with the battery. Without the battery, I'm sure I could have finished P5. I'm pretty sure. Because I was right behind Davisic. I could have held him behind. But Zavisic has done a lot more mileage than I have. In fact, actually, look, he's finished uh, P3. Uh, yeah, nice. He's got himself on the podium. Yeah, best I can do, really. Replay. Uh, where did uh, everyone else? Maxim, Haku... Yeah. See my best lap, 55.9. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, look at all the laps that everyone else is doing. 55 dead, 55, 3, 1, 2. Way, way faster. Yeah, not fast enough. You got taken out. Let's have a look. Let's check it out. Ah. I knew when I saw this uh, track on the FIA calendar, I wasn't like, oh yeah, looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome. You know, OP. No, it's not my strength. And adding the brake management stuff. Nah, don't like it. Never mind. Uh, yeah, well, you saw what happened to me with turn one in Les Coombs. Murked. Literally murked. Got a bit of a headache. <laughs> Great start. Cocaine sliding around meant that Davis had got in front of me, but to be honest. Probably would have been in vain anyway because he was just he comfortably drove past me. There's nothing I could really do. <clears throat> it was interesting seeing someone as quick as Mura ultimately struggle to get past me given my shit laps because he's really good. I thought he'd get past easier. Soft, soft, Muro on hard. Okay. Right. Yeah, much better launch. Right. Check this out. Coke slides really wide. So I don't really have a lot of opportunity there, but I wonder why. Is that a push from Zavisic? I think it is. It's late on the break. Yeah. Zavisic too late on the break. So it's just once again, people trying to break as late as possible. It's just not worth the risk. Uh, but yeah, good start. Can't look forward to penalty. Still beat me. 
Uh, a lot of these guys beat me to be honest. Uh, yeah, I didn't get that great a start. Check it out. I think he started. Yeah, he actually started ahead of me, and yet. Muted. Look, it's just. Oh my god. It's just people doing stupid stuff. Man, Gonzalez being careful, Jim, Antomic, so something to do with Antomics. Uh, nothing to do with Antomics. What do you know? What do you know? Of all people, it is El Mare. Look, he just does this crazy last minute swing, stamps on the brakes and just... See, it, that's what I'm talking about. It's just really poor thinking, high risk. And it, it, look, it yeeted off his teammate. He screwed his own teammate over because of that and himself. What's going through your mind, man? Honestly. Never learns. That's the problem. He never, ever learns. I've said it before. Anyway. Ha! <laughs> Unbelievable. Right. Kelly penalty, slap on the wrist to be miffed with that. Coco okay, gets past uh, Killian pretty quick, nicely done, and then flips it really, you know, in terms of the tyres, I don't know why. Uh, let me just quit, I'm just going to see what happens to Maxim, because Maxim was pretty unhappy. Well, no, it's nobody's fault on turn one, man. <laughs> That's your fault. <laughs> Whoopsie doodles. Too late on the brakes. Cold tyres. And uh, rear brake bias. Slidey, slidey. Ah, uh, dear. And in terms of Les Coombs. Definitely got unlucky. Oh god, see what I mean? Again! Again! Storms up that gap when there's three wide. What is he doing? What is he doing? I just can't understand this boy. Ah, oh, wow. I just, I just can't understand it. Anyway, fuck it. I'm moving on. I don't want to look at it. It's just, <laughs> it's just. I'll be honest, right? The audacity of it. I think it's because of this. I'm going to think real carefully. I strongly suspect part of the reason I got yeeted off my team is because him and Prima drivers are complaining about me to my team bosses. Who's the problem here? And that's why it really boils my blood, because I got YouTube off my team. Because of racing incidents and complaints. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Anyway, moving on. I want to look at Koke, what happened to him. 
and uh, my battle with Muir. I can't remember what lap it was, to be honest. Quite close to the end. I think this was it. So you can see what I was trying to do. I was trying to give him slipstream, so he was too close to Oru's, so he didn't really have the momentum. You can see he's trying to avoid it, so he gets better momentum. I'm trying to give it to him. Quite an unusual thing to do, but it worked. Because then he just didn't really have the momentum to uh, get past. So, that was my defence. Now, was I too late out of Les Coombs in terms of defending? There we go, lots of space. A little bit of rubbing, but oh well. No, I, I'm, I'm completely happy with that. I, I personally don't see anything wrong with that. I covered it off. I had time to do so. The closing speed wasn't huge, you know. It wasn't like he was closing in and I shut the door last second and then there was contact. I just blocked, fair block. And I think Mura was starting to swerve around because he was annoyed and he almost, uh, well, he, he ended up hitting uh, Atomics and uh, yeah, look. So I, I personally don't see anything wrong with that. I think that's fair game. But I wouldn't be surprised if these are the racing incidents that keep getting back to my old team bosses and then without speaking to me or watching any of the actual footage muted me off the team <laughs> I, you know uh, I, I was flabbergasted I was absolutely flabbergasted and then, and then uh, do you know what I was even asked afterwards why don't we that we handled this badly why don't we forget the last 24 hours would you like to stay on the team and I said no 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 way not with half of my teammates discussing me negatively not checking footage and deciding to eat me because of complaints without checking the complaint do you know what it's like it's like it's like me walking into the police station and saying Callum Haku uh, Callum's just uh, carjacked someone up there, up the road. He just carjacked someone, I promise you. And then the police go, okay, yeah, we're just going to charge him. And they call him up and say, we're charging you with uh, Grand Theft Auto. Of course, Callum's going to go, what? <laughs> you know, you haven't even spoken to me. Where's the evidence? Where's, you know... I, I... I... I'm so annoyed. It's such a shame. It's such a. It's such a shame. That's it. That's what happened. Such an unnecessary outcome. Ran over. Oh man, Haku, you gave up. Lap one pit entry. Uh, okay. Well, it's not the way I look at it, Jack. I'm not saying yes or no to that. I'm just saying it's not the way I view it. I liked my team. I really liked being in E-Monaco. And I was just really upset that my team bosses would just eat me off for supposed complaints and racing incident without checking the footage and without asking me. And then saying, actually, do you know what? Why don't, why don't we try again? And I was like, I'm sorry, respectfully, no. The relationship's been ruined. I don't want to be a part of something that... It's just, no, I can't. Would you? And, and, and this is what really flares me up. Because I know this guy. I know this guy is complaining about me. For, for ruining people's races and yet ruins his teammates race over there as a result of all the domino effect gets a penalty and if that's not enough he goes hmm 
yes, let's do a late breaking maneuver on once again. And then he just yeets off my ex teammate. And I, I'm I'm the problem. Why why don't you have a word with him? To whom it may concern. <laughs> I if I was team boss I'd be wanting to speak to him most but I wouldn't yeet him off the team, but I'd be like we've seen this why don't we talk about it? How can we... Uh, no, I'm not going to... No, it's not... I'm not going to... It's not in my nature to run to somebody's team boss and complain. Although, on this situation, I am speaking to the team boss, but not because I've gone to complain. Rather, because we need to resolve a growing issue. There's been this issue between me and Almado for a while. There's no mistaking it because every time I share tarmac with him, he yeets me off, squeezes me off, gives me no space, and it's it's immensely frustrating. And and it, it's every single time, and I just feel like I, I I have to do something. So it's not a complaint. It's more like. How can we resolve this? How can we prevent this from happening? How can we make this better? So I suppose it's all coming out now because seeing that just frustrates the crap out of me and I still feel quite sour and bitter to have been yeeted off a team because of everything I just explained. I, I just... Yeah, I, I just have no words. It's, it's immensely unfair. It's so immensely unfair. There, I said it. And I, I, I won't, I won't, I won't change anything I've said because it's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> Tell, tell me if I'm wrong here, you know? I know you, you can only take my word for it, but uh, that's exactly what happened. So there we go. We move on. I am now with VQS. I think I'm going to have a good time with them. And we are, uh, yeah, going to kick some ass. You don't need to apologise, Jack. Um... But I did want to make it clear that it's just not in my nature to just run to people and complain about them. You know, it's just not, not my style. There we are. <laughs> Intense. Difficult racing. Next stream. Probably manufacture series. And that will be hopefully better. Yeah, Aston Martin here. I'm hoping it can be strong. Let's have a look at the times. Unsurprising, 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 unsurprising. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to try with the Aston, to be honest. I mean, look, it is really, really tight. And when you've got that straight, that long ass straight, you know. Obviously, he's from uh, Asia region, so, yeah. Excuse me. Hey, Clayton, how's it going? Uh, friend rankings, that's what I wanted to look at. There's Haku. Mads is not looking that strong. Not anymore. Okay. So that's it. That is me done for the day. I appreciate you all watching. Um, it's time to just literally look forward and move on. And I will be streaming again on Wednesday. And I hope to see you there. Enjoy your weekend. And thank you very much.